Good luck. Welcome back. This marks week 126 of the weekly ladder. Uh, the idea with these games is that you get to play a higher rated opponent and a lower rated opponent and review the game afterward and see uh, what you both think of the game. And it's a great learning opportunity. Okay, so this indicates a strong preference for a particular opening strategy. Um, hmm, what's... This is what I usually play against this strategy, so this we're going to stick with it. Um, so then I'm going to activate my bishop um, and contest the center file. So my opponent is intending to attack over on this side of the board, and already I have started evacuating my bishop from this side. Uh, we're also going to tuck the king over to the right so the king doesn't get caught up in this attack. Basically, I'm playing this extremely, well, this strategy that I think is defensive, but uh, opinions may differ. So, I think this is a reasonable move order. If I'm mistaken, we'll find out soon. Um, my opponent, again, wants to exchange over here and continue attacking over here. It's a very... I don't know, this strategy... It's a gamble. <laughs> I respect it. But, um, do I? I'm not sure I do. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm already confusing my ideas. I've always intended to study this a bit better because it I've wanted to have a system opening, but on the other hand, I have wanted the game to remain complex and something that's not solved by one system. Okay, my overlay does include uh, the chat window and the browser, so we're good. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. So... When the opponent pushes this, I can't just let them do pawn takes pawn. I do need to fight back here a bit. Um, yeah, what's so appealing about this opening is that you could seemingly throw these moves against a lot of different things, and generally these moves are not bad. Um... So I guess that's what I mean by a system opening, is something that seems to play well, no matter what the opponent does. And I've been looking for an antidote against this thing, because it's such a strong attack and is so difficult to defend against. Um, ultimately, a good remedy for this ends up being a strong counterattack. Um, but that's not always easy to come by. But yeah, here my opponent actually achieves their objective. They've taken out this file. They dominate it. I've not yet asserted dominance on the center file because um, in trying to do so, I'm just going to worsen things. I keep struggling over whether or not to drop upon here. Um, hmm. Wait, I can move the silver. If I do move the silver, they take this pawn. And it's not simple. Um, like, then my silver can move up again, they drop the rook back, and it's just not simple at all. Um... 
If this knight landed here magically, that still wouldn't be enough. If I had one, two, three moves to push this pawn, I would be cooking with gas. But as soon as I push this, the diagonal to my king is wide open. I usually try to counter by gaining dominance in the center, but it's not simple. My rook's a sitting duck here. Let's correct the sitting duck situation. So they've not finished their castle. I finished half Mino castle. But maybe my king shouldn't be over here. Maybe it should be somewhere else. Maybe this edge pawn push was too slow. There's a thousand things I could have done wrong. And it's hard to know which, uh, if any, I did wrong. If the silver does not advance, then I could retreat and defend this without lots of concern about what might happen next. Since it does advance, um, I want the silver to be locked in place. I don't want it taking here. If I could somehow attack this pawn multiple times, that would be great. But that's not the world we live in here. Um, plan C was dropping back to defend my knight. So now my silver and bishop can freely move about. But there still is going to be a timing where if I move the silver, then they can take this pawn and get a free tempo out of it. At some point, this free tempo that they're going to get, it's going to have a price in that look at all these things they haven't done to defend their king in order to win the free tempo as soon as my silver moves. That's one way this could go. Um, another potentially is... I don't know. I've been trying to think of some way I could activate this bishop and exchange bishops and drop this bishop in their opponent's camp. I'm not seeing how to do that here. But it'd be cool if there were something like that. I'm guessing pawn 5-5 five five is something they want to play, but as soon as they play that, then they're not going to um, move the silver, because moving the silver would drop the pawn. Welcome one and all. Yeah, it's complex, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, since this is somewhat, this is a rated game on 81 Dojo, I know folks would love to chat in our chat room. But being that this is a rated game and there's potential for spoilers and I want to be fair to my opponent, I'm going to enable chat after the game. We can still emote on things. We can still have fun with it. Oh, okay, so they're not going to block my rook. So this is the alternative way that they can get something for nothing. Um, is Okay, so what the hell do I do? So if I bring my silver up twice and exchange it for their silver, I think that's okay. And I have a silver in hand to attack anything on the board. I think that's fine, but also I could push this. Oh, the bishop takes it. Never mind. My pieces are just floating around, waiting for a chance to attack, that, and this chance might never come. All right, we're going to give them the free move that they've been longing to have. It's a game of negotiation. They win the negotiation. They get what they want. I get what I want. It's a fair negotiation. Arguably, maybe a hundred times I should have kicked this thing. Um, I just don't know this opening that well. But I know as soon as I kick that, it takes over here. And that's just one more thing to keep track of. So I want to exchange here, I think. And this hits the rook um, and gives me a chance to continue attacking. I, alternatively, I could like move the bishop away, but then they start dropping a pawn here and not sure how bad that is for me. 
exchanging silvers would have a downside that they'd be able to put the silver anywhere on the board instead of in this remote corner. But the silver's threatening to promote here, and I don't have a way to stop this promotion. Aside from, like, exchanging here, which was the plan. So I go here, they promote, I take, they take, they take, we all take everything. I think this works out fine. If we exchange silvers, bishop takes ensures that, like, I don't lose. I mean, knight takes might be considerable, but they could drop something around this camp and it gets spooky. Oh, I'm sorry, if knight takes, they drop the silver here and that's a fork. And I don't have two pieces defending the square, and I don't think I can muster a second to defend it. Like, if I were to do knight takes, and if they were to drop a silver here, and if I were to drop my silver there, not here because bishop takes, but here, they would still take my bishop, I'd take the rook, they'd take my gold, and my silver would still be hanging. So, yeah, this is the plan. I lost the pawn. At some point, I might drop a pawn on the 5-3 square, or 5-7. That's it. Since I'm playing... Oh, this is Gota's perspective, so this is 5-7. Yeah, so I might drop a pawn here, see if they do bishop takes at some point. And if they do, maybe I'll take it, or maybe reserve that capture for a later time. Um... I could move my bishop away from the threat. Or I could take the rook if I'm confident that taking the rook's the right thing to do. Moving away is not terrible. Is it? I don't think... Well, the rook indirectly supports an attack here. So if I run away, and if we exchange silvers, if I do knight takes, they still could drop a silver here. I could still run away, and the silver's out in no man's land. And they threatened to take my knight, but not really. Um, hmm. If I take here, if they take there, how much do I want a rook? A rook would be really nice, because I could drop it here, take the knight, take the gold, take the gold, etc. Um, the main downside of taking this is that they would recapture with this bishop. I just have to be careful that I'm not losing that endgame. Um, with both my rook and my bishop hanging at the same time. I'm thinking that taking the rook is fine, though. I take... If bishop takes rook out, if they take my bishop, I take their silver. Um, they run away their bishop, and I could take the pawn. And I've gained a rook already. Um, if I take here, they take my bishop. Um... Why have I not looked at that? Like, I keep trying to look at it, but it... I should see that. A rook for a bishop. That's not the exchange I want to make here. Although a rook would be fantastic. Oh, I see. Take the rook, they take the bishop, I drop here, leaving all three of these pieces hanging while I go chopping everything else. What specifically have they collected, in what order? They take a bishop, I drop this, they take a gold, I take the knight, I'm threatening this gold. They can drop or move a gold. Oh, I'm sorry, my rook could be countered by a gold general. Okay, so that's not so easy. Um, if my bishop retreats, we exchange here. Mm. 
I keep trying to find a way to invade on this square. It's not simple. Um, but yeah, like, their clear threat is to drop where my bishop runs away from, and then to take the lance. Uh, so unless I can find some sort of attack, it's difficult. But I can find an attack. It's drop a pawn here. They counter that by dropping a pawn there. Hmm, maybe I don't have an attack. Yeah, running away doesn't look any better than taking. It's just such a mess. So take, take, gold up to hit this and defend that. Silver takes, knight takes, bishop takes, rook drop. Looks okay. Yeah, we've done the best we can. If I had another 15 minutes, we'd keep going. I'm going to blame the clock if that's a mistake. Really, I can blame myself on this, but where's the fun in that? Um, so they gained a bishop, I gained a rook. Oh, I could take this, their bishop could take, and my rook's hanging. That's not great. Oh. Oh, if I take here, bishop takes, pawn drop, pawn drop, rook drop. Continuing to meet violence with violence. This looks like the safest way to go. Oh, sorry, I did not mean to move just as my opponent disconnects. Hopefully they'll be back with us soon. Um, I guess what I hadn't considered until just now is that they could drop a pawn continuing to hit this gold, but then my gold can try to protect the silver. So I'm sacrificing a silver so I can save my gold. Yeah. I hope they'll be back with us. I do not intend to automatically claim victory, and regardless of what the rating system says, we can certainly continue this game, assuming the server provides us some mechanism to do so. Um, hope everything's okay. I don't want to claim victory at all. Uh, the website forces a victory claim after so many minutes, but hopefully they'll manage to reconnect by then. Uh, but yeah, my idea is bishop takes, rook drop, and then I'm threatening uh, the bishop, which I guess exchanges itself for this rook. Um, well, actually, if bishop takes, maybe I just move the rook and then save this for later. Yeah. But this opening strategy, this Uroshino, they call it, the idea is it's a very strong attack, but the defense is a bit wanting because it's such a quick attack. Um, but yeah, bishop takes, I can move my rook out. They could maybe drop the silver that they just captured to protect the other silver and all these pieces like this bishop, like this gold. All these are in no man's land. Um... What was it though? Pawn drop, pawn drop, rook drop. So this pawn drop actually protects the rook. That's... I keep forgetting what's where. But yeah, this pawn drop pretends to hit the silver, but really the real point is that it would protect the rook, but they counter with a pawn drop here. Or even a silver drop there. But then my rook runs and pins this. Strange. Hmm. But yeah, I'm certainly up for continuing this game anytime. Um, it's looking like something happened to their connection. 
I'm not going to claim victory or anything, but if the game does prematurely decide, we could even continue playing it in post-game analysis mode and just freely chat about things as we play it, but however the opponent wants to handle it. They might request that we do a rematch and try to replay the same game or something like that. I don't know if the site also has a way to set a position. If it does, I'm fine with like giving them 10 minutes to like three minutes or whatever it was odds, and we could take it from there. Um, but not sure what the site does or allows. Um, I, I think you could challenge a player with a fixed handicap. So I could offer a handicap of Senta to my opponent. We could replay the game if I could remember the moves. I might have to have the move list up to do that. Um, but yeah, we could, there's a way we can do this if we have to reschedule it. Uh, I do think I finally quelled the attack to some degree by giving up some material. Oh, good. Um, very good that they made it back. So we'll just say hi. Uh, uh, yeah, all right, cool. So, yeah, that cut about three and a half minutes out of their time. I've only got about three and a half minutes on my clock, so I can't, I'm not really in a position to give odds back there. Um, I would have somehow let them know this is my move while they were offline, but alas, they were offline at that time. At any rate, we'll be in Byoyomi soon enough, and the clock handicap won't matter. The handicap that um, of them giving me three some minutes because their internet connection or something cut out. Eventually, that's not going to be quite so relevant. Though this is a critical moment. So it would make sense for them to take some time thinking about it unless they already know this. The challenge with having a system opening that works against everything is that you have to know it, and its variations, and its sub-variations, and its sub-sub-variations, etc. Alright, so I've been spending a few minutes talking about this move. Let's play it. And I anticipate a pawn drop here, and I anticipate meeting this pawn drop with my rook drop and things get chaotic what trick uh what the mental shortcut was that made me find this particular move order was that uh this rook drop can be met by an um of this gold over and this is a perfect counter which means that my initiative lies somewhere else um so this is the attack, the bishop and the knight. So yeah, they could counter the rook and prevent it from taking the knight, but in this case it costs the bishop to do so. It's kind of like go, where you can get one thing or the other thing, but it's difficult to get both. In this case, they can protect this edge of the board, or they can save the bishop, but they can't uh, easily do both. There might be a way to do both, but I'd be surprised. So yeah, I was trying to find a, how do I get my rook to take this knight and promote and like not allow them to counter this rook drop. And the answer is I had to give up a silver here and allow them an initiative elsewhere. And that, I mean, all this is not convenient for me here, but it's not convenient for them either. Um, they're probably intending a pawn drop on my rook's head, and I can take the bishop, they take my rook, I take back, or I run away, or something. It's getting quite complicated. Um, I might even be threatening gold takes if they drop something directly on top of the rook. I'm trying to relax a bit. 
Here, let's get another fun emote out there, just so we're not looking at that all day. Um, yeah. So if they had a knight, this would be dangerous for me. Uh, it's still somewhat dangerous, and I don't like this bishop being here. I do have a way to kick said bishop. This bishop pawn shape is a very strong shape, and I don't want to see it. So, please fix that shape for me. Um, there's only so many squares on this diagonal, and you haven't opened this retreat for it, so I'm guessing the bishop's not going to stay on the diagonal. Yeah, I guessed correctly. Um, now this bishop shape is not the strongest shape either. It's just out there floating about, waiting for me to take it. Um, we're going to do a little negotiation here. Uh, so my real plan is to hit the bishop, but let me get what I can out of this first. So they have not completed the castle. I'm going to exploit this weakness. So either they can drop another general to make this castle even stronger. They can continue attacking. That's a possibility. That incurs some risk too. I was thinking gold takes. Gold takes, I get mated. Maybe we don't do gold takes. Uh, what do we do? If I drop, take this gold... If they take my rook, I drop the gold here. King takes, rook takes. It's not quite mate. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, so sharp. I wish I had a mate here. Wouldn't that be cool? So if Rook here, Bishop drop. Hmm. If I take this, they can drop a silver here. My attack is always one move too slow. Okay, we'll attempt to save the rook. This attempt doesn't get very far, but moving the rook over gets no farther. Like, if I move the rook over, this bishop drop looks very powerful. Here, they can counter... oh, never mind. Um, I didn't expect that. Oh my goodness. Well, let's save the dragon. I'm not the only one who has to make decisions here. Yeah, I guess they can drop, or they can advance their bishop into the square. Hmm, this is not good. Man, this is super not good. Um, I'll try to make use of my rooks, but it's this is rough. 
Their attack is very fast and very strong. Um, I'm trying to get them to put one other piece away from my king, just so that their attack is one move slower, or two moves slower, or however many moves slower. Um, this rook is lost. Yeah, that's something like this is what I've been trying to encourage. I need every defending piece that I can get. Hmm. I didn't anticipate that, even remotely. I don't have a good way to activate my dragon, so we exchange it.
30秒30秒。三十秒。Hmm. I don't understand.三十秒。四十秒。Hmm. ご十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七。Maybe I should have led with this multiple turns ago. Maybe I should have led with that. On the bright side, this bishop is not going to suddenly show up at my back door. If it does show up there, there will be at least a little bit of advance notice. 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Even amidst near complete darkness, there's at least some light. But it is pretty dark. Oh. 30 seconds. 
I missed a tactic. Oh my goodness, this is sharp. I see the tactic I missed. It's too late now. Uh, but yeah, while this rook was not defended, I had an opportunity to check, drop the or take here. The king would have had to run away, and that's the end of that combination. But no, like bishop takes, pawn takes, knight takes, and if the king has to run away, then I can drop the bishop again. There's something there. I missed that. I don't think we're going to see another position where this rook's completely hanging, but if this pawn moves over, then maybe the answer is bishop takes and take here, etc. And then win the rook. <sighs> Likely they're just going to do this, though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's going to suck. My beautiful tactic is gone. Um, it's fine, though. I'll just say it's fine. Mm, I might need to cash in on the tactic, Thank even though it doesn't win material. Yeah, I need to do this, even though it's not winning material like it could earlier. Um, this attack against my king is too strong for me to just completely ignore it. Should have done this earlier, though. I mean, that's still not nothing. It's just this would have been much better if I spotted it when it won a rook for nothing. Now it just, like, defends my king and costs me a knight. But yeah, this opening system is that sort of thing. Where if you know it, and you know its variations, it's fine. If you don't know it, um, and you have to make things up, things can go very poorly if you make a mistake. And consequently, like when I play, I can't make any mistakes either. I can't afford to. Like Everything's amplified immensely. Hmm. The entire game rides on every tactic here. You miss one tactic, the whole game can fall apart. And while I play that kind of way with chess, I'd rather not play that way in two games. I'd rather have Shogi be a different game from chess in that regard. 
So. I'm trying to do normal ish things and build normal ish castles, but sometimes my tendency to just recklessly attack punches through. In this case, I didn't attack recklessly enough, but it's fine. I split their castle. Hmm. So I'm throwing in all these pawn drops, exchanges, etc. before I take the rook. Um, but also I'm debating, do I just drop a pawn here and like not take the rook? Do I survive if I do something that nuts? I don't think so. Might be a bit too much ask of this position. It's very close. I think I have to do this here. I think this is more important than taking a rook. Sharp stuff. Let's see what the opponent's comment is. <laughs> Sorry. I don't chat much during the go. Opponent disconnected? No. Uh, welcome back. Okay, this restarts their clock as it should. I hope their connection can stand. It would be a shame for the game to be decided by a connection. Right, right, right. So this... Um... This is kind of the crux of what I was thinking about. Um... I take here, and this removes the support for their attack on my king. <laughs> they continue attacking anyway. Oh boy, uh, we got a game on our hands, folks. Um, jeez, what the hell? In some sense, they're right. So evacuating my bishop to save the bishop is not worth it. Um, however, other tactics may be possible.
30秒40秒50秒30秒30秒40秒50秒1234567¡Sánchez Dios! 30秒40秒 What a complex position.
30秒40秒50秒 Alright, I kept looking at this repeatedly. I'm not seeing it. You're going to need to show me the mate. Because I'm just not seeing it. So that's how we're going to have to do this. Everything hinges around a pair of positions here. Okay. There is a point to this. The point is that if I offer the bishop, they just take my bishop and repeat this combination. So I need to play this first.
30秒40秒50秒30秒。30秒。30秒。30秒。30秒。
30秒40秒Maybe I missed it. 50秒30秒40秒いや、my opponent did well cutting off my escape route. Oh, wait, had I taken Had I gone here? It's like impossible to keep track of all the things that can go on in this position. It's, it's really complex with my bishop actually covering two squares. Many things are possible. Um, that otherwise are not. I miscounted the well, I doubly miscounted. Silver check is the only check here. That seems to make sense, unless there's a sacrifice that mates. But if there were a sacrifice, we would have seen it already. Um, so silver check, and then my king moves. And we exchange multiple times on this square. Oh, <laughs> night drop. Holy moly. Night drop is beautiful. Um... That's awesome. With my bishop here, I'm not leaving things to chance. Um, mm -hmm. Wait, did I fuck up in that last second? I don't know anymore. My head hurts. We're enjoying the game, but at some point we do need um do need to calm down. And playing the game seems not to be something that provides calm. <laughs> um Oh yeah, if my king retreats, they just take my knight. So Not much choice there.
Thanks for the game. Well played. Very well played. Wow. I hope there was no disrespect at the end there, as I just wanted to see the mate. You've come this far. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, move 128, resign. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. I guess I'll offer uh, it fine if we start from the top. So I prefer to do the analysis if it's fine. Um, if it's fine, yeah, we'll do it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. So yeah, here our opponent indicates that they're going to be playing the Roshino attack. No matter what I do, they're going to play this particular strategy. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, this attack's a tough one to counter. My lack of memorization diligence is at full display here. This pawn move was a waste of time. Um, yeah. This is just very ill-timed, but I didn't know what to do. Um, our opponent obviously built a very strong attack. Ah! So, yeah, if I do this... Uh, whoops. So if I do this, I was concerned about something like this. Um, uh, I don't know, like... When I do this pawn drop, do you just, like, drop back here? Is that the better way about it? Either way, it really feels like I don't have any attack here. So, like, that's why I was so adverse to trying this. Ah, usually the engine does suggest... Yeah, okay. Uh... Yeah... I've seen many players do this rook takes pawn thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if I'd known he was going to drop the rook, that no, okay. You can never know these things for sure until they actually happen. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is just an opening I really don't have a good sense of what's going on in. It takes some degree of study to figure it out, or you just have to figure it out in the time that's allotted. But I just didn't manage to. It was too much. Um, I really thought it was fine here. I, I don't know. Oh, with this drop, yeah. I could understand why one would hesitate, because, like, yeah. Thought my attack was better, so um Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh maybe this pawn. I hadn't considered this. Um or rather I did. I thought this was more than adequate against it. Hmm. Okay, but here we drop this back. Um, I 
maybe this is necessary. Like, clearly, um, this is not a good position for me, but I'm alive. Yeah. <laughs> There's a convention. Uh, 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 I don't know. Like, I get the sense that it, there's just really... The only thing that's consistent in this opening, I think, is that it just has a very tr strong attack. Uh... But usually that attack can be met by an even stronger counterattack. Um, usually. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, I didn't attack correctly. I thought I had this. I was so sure. I thought this was fine. Um, let's see, and then I attacked this and took here. I think here? I'm not totally sure. Like, I'm operating half blind is this i don't know can i not afford that um what i was concerned about was this but hmm. ah, imagine that um uh But, um, when would you push it? If you had to push it, when would you do that? Um, okay, so he agrees that that particular position is better. I'm not even sure it's way better, but I think it's better for me. Just before dropping this pawn. Okay, so instead of that... Oh, this push. Okay. Um, hmm. I can't type and play at the same time, apparently. What if I take here? Uh, you take my dragon, I guess, and... Hmm. Yeah, uh, I guess the pawn drop is just in time. That's annoying and incredible. Um, like, how can one believe this sort of incredible? Um, yeah, no, okay, this just doesn't work for me. Um, how do I refute this damn opening? I don't know. Hmm. If I can't do the key thing that I wanted to do in this opening, it seems quite rough then. Because, hmm. like, yeah, this idea just is so strong. And it's it's really hard to stop. Hmm. So maybe I did maybe that point where I let him invade. I needed to stop that and try to arrest the attack. The attack that almost always overwhelms any defense you can throw at it. Maybe he pointed out the one defense that works. Yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, we didn't anticipate the fork. Well... <laughs> uh... Hmm. We expected something though, right? Like, was it this, maybe? During the game I mentioned this. Although... I was so confident in my own attack that I, like, overruled my common sense here. Common sense would dictate play this. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the other mystery of this opening. Uh... Yeah. Uh, it's this is such a sharp opening, but this seems like a critical idea. Mm -hmm. And these uh, the folks who play this opening study it super hard, and uh, you just have to grill them on every line until you hit the one where they don't know it. Um, you think he thinks he has the line against this. Engines very much enjoy this opening. Humans struggle emulating engines. <laughs> yeah, should have done this. Uh. Yeah. So, I guess with this opening it, if i can box off the corner maybe that's a key idea somehow i don't know um not sure why i didn't do that other than i was so excited i was extremely confident too yeah yeah Yeah, there's really nothing I can do at this point, is there? I missed my moment. And this half Mino castle's not gonna weather the attack. Yeah. That's disappointing. Hmm. Oh, man, I thought my attack was good. <laughs> uh, I think maybe I missed two things this game. Um, thing number one would be this. Uh, Yeah. So if they take, now we do this. And now this threat actually wins the rook. Oh! Oh, shinikes. Maybe I didn't miss that then. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, maybe here instead of bishop six five, uh Yeah. At the hypothetically if it's the same position. Um Wait, wait a second. No, hypothetically, if they take this. <sighs> oh, 
the trap here I'm trying to set up is uh, this here. And bishop drop, bishop takes, pawn takes, knight takes, and this. So this is the trap idea or concept. Um, um, yeah, capturing four six. Uh, four six. Oh, this one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's the idea. Is that with this pawn out of the way, it's possible for this line to be occur. Um, yeah, there's probably ways to avoid it, and it didn't even occur to me until later. Um, uh, but then, yeah, he was mentioning in the late end game, he thinks I missed a chance to. Um, well, I don't think it's so easy here. Well, I was just lost, but maybe I'm not. Um, um, it's quite similar to the game, truly. So maybe ideas like, oh, well, okay. So he's suggesting instead of, if I maybe take here? Something like this, maybe? Uh, I think this is mate, right? Or maybe it's not? Hmm. Hmm. Like this, I expected. If there was any mate to be found, I would expect this is it. But, um. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I know that's annoying. I would have thought there would still be some kind of mate here somehow. Um, maybe I'm just completely off base here. Wait, so is Rook takes not mate? Um, I s assumed it was, but... Maybe it's not. <laughs> I'm not sure that you actually needed four, but you did use four, and you did find the checkmate, so that counts. I'm not sure four were necessary, but I really don't know what's going on in this endgame. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, if I take this... Um, what about this capture? I guess we still move the king away. Um, hmm. And then we do this drop. King continues running. And then we just keep chasing. Um, hmm. Is there not a mate? It's so complex. I thought, I just assumed there was a mate here. But maybe there's not. Um. 
Hmm. What if we go back? Maybe this? I don't know. Um, I mean, at the very least, it looks like I'm lost, but whether or not that's a mate, I like it. I don't know. Uh, so I have a silver and a rook. I don't think those are enough to mate here. Uh, I mean, this is the move similar to the game, but he's pointing out that I could have saved my bishop. Um, I'm not sure I agree, but my opponent knows this opening better than I do. Even though now we're in an end game. But um I should take yeah, I don't know what that means. Yeah, then you have a horse and rook. Okay. Yeah. I mean potentially there's something here for me. I'm granted yeah, who knows? There should be some chances, but it's, I don't know. Mate in five. I don't. <laughs> uh. But saving this was just way too slow. I just didn't think this was even remotely close. Uh, I just don't have an, a mating attack as best as I can tell. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah. I did see this possibility. This, like, I don't know. This is such a difficult position to begin with. Um, but yeah, maybe I need to do something like that. I thought, yeah, I was checkmated, so... <laughs> This looks terrible, but it's not me. Um, granted, I have like zero attack here, and I'm getting mowed to bits. So like... Mm. Oh, did... wait. Okay, he's asked, do we exchange this first? Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually a good idea, I think, because then, yeah, this becomes powerful. Yeah. That's even better. Uh, yeah.
I'm maintaining that what happened during the game was the actual, like, there was actually a checkmate and there wasn't a way to save it. Um, so yeah, I needed to try this or something similar. Um, hmm. I wonder, can I get away with this here? So there's this pawn drop idea, and then there's the king takes silver idea. And king takes silver sounds ridiculous. Um, like, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so I just don't have mate here. Okay. That's unfortunate. So, yeah, I have to try the pawn drop, but then, yeah, if they just exchange their promoted pawn for my silver, I die. There's just no way out. Um, hmm. Is there nothing here, though? Uh, how can there be nothing? Where was my mischance then? I could have sworn this was it, but maybe not. Um. This is incredible if this doesn't work. Um. This, uh, I just don't know. <sighs> um... So we've looked at, um, what was it? So we looked at those one and two and three. This is pretty wild. Uh, but yeah, none of these three ideas actually defend, so my mistake is earlier. Um, how is this possible? Uh, so this here might be the mistake. Maybe this, so I control this square. Uh, okay, they have a bishop drop. You can hear my mouse clicking, maybe, but like not every input is registered. Um, but yeah, maybe something like this was necessary. Although as my point of pointed out earlier two things. One, I should have taken the gold when I had the chance. Um, but two, there was some other... Oh, well, I mean, yeah, we saw the pawn 4-6 sacrifice line where I could have set a trap but didn't. But I think earlier, like, yeah, countering this, forcing an end to their attack, which I didn't think would work, might have been the way to do this. Yeah. So if there's no knight magic here, then... So 
So I think at this point you just start taking my pieces. Yeah, so I lose this, but at least I don't go down getting mated right in this very position. Um, what do you know did like way back here? Um, what was it? This here. It's kind of sad, but I think that's the reality of this, is that I just missed the one critical idea in this situation. Um, or is it some other position? I'm confusing all my positions. It's a lot to keep track of. Hmm. Where was it? It's not that one. Um... Ah. So, yeah. So, yeah, there are chances here. It's a game, but, um, oops, might not want to put it quite there because of the damn fork, but yeah, um, something like this should be playable. <laughs> yeah, it's a game. Um, Yeah, this... Oh, right. I still have that option. This damn silver gets me every time, doesn't it? Um... Yeah, so there is a game if I'm willing to play it. <laughs> if I can have the patience to find the right moves, then we could play a game. If I just spaz out the whole time and don't try to calculate stuff and then fall into traps, different story. Um, yeah. I guess once something hits the sixth row, I need to watch out for it invading on the seventh. In most openings, you would see these attacks coming well in advance. Um, here, they show up very suddenly. Um, so, uh... <laughs> yeah, maybe there was some way to defend this. We saw me spending time turn after turn trying to find ways out, and I just couldn't find anything. This knight seemed quite strong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh. So I think they found, like, one of a handful of checkmates that existed. I didn't see a better one. Uh, if there are other mates, I didn't see other mates. I struggled even finding this one. Uh, so from what point when I say this is maybe a forced mate? I guess this is where the checks begin. Yeah. Uh... Uh... 
so potentially maybe I missed something here. I forgot that my bishop covers the king's square. So this got really complicated. Um, if there is a shot, I just... There's, this is not easy to read. I just didn't see it. But yeah, I forgot that my bishop maybe covers the king's square. But maybe they have a mate even despite that consideration. Oh. What's this? Yeah, this is annoying. Gold drop 7-1. Maybe. Oh, uh, well, no. Hmm. No, it's hard to spot. I don't know. I don't know if they can afford this. Um... Hmm. Maybe... No. If they had another knight, they could afford that, but I don't know that they can afford it here. Hmm. Oh, is this the same thing, just in a different form? Yeah. So I guess all this mates. Um, oh, wait a second. So we had silver, and then we had this knight. Oh, but now this is a rook here. So if I go like this, um, then that mates. Yeah. All right, but, um, still, so, okay, maybe this wasn't the wrong square then. Um, I mean, I guess, <laughs> Yeah, maybe this is easier. The gold might not be enough, actually. I just pick the right square. Um, or I'm sorry, no, I have to go this other way first, don't I? <sighs> Jeez. Uh, so the rook mates. Uh, I want to know, like, is there some defense here? What might I have missed? Um, so we had this, and I didn't drop back here. Oh, but here, there's still this. Okay. Yeah, during the game I spotted this too. So there's that based on my king going to 9-3. But, there's also this. Um, and here... Oh, here this is simple. Uh, okay. 
Okay, good. So, yeah, I didn't throw the game away before... Um, yeah. Saruk takes gold, does force mate, which means my dropping the gold back there didn't help anything. Didn't hurt, but didn't help. Um, yeah. So we'd have to keep backing up over and over to try to find somewhere that I might have had some escape. Um, but it looks like I just didn't. <laughs> yeah, played well. <laughs> you got lucky, but you played well. Uh, let's see. Necrotus says I move 111. Dragon shouldn't take. Mm. Uh, let's see. Dragon should not take. Yeah, so instead of this... Drop gold on 8-2. Eight, 8-3. Eight, 9-2. One of these. Oh, no. oh, okay. So, yeah, there's this suggestion. Uh, so I take here. Um... I mean, this is complicated stuff. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Um. Uh. guess we're trying to find a Rook Takes Gold alternative, um, but this looks difficult. Um, maybe there's something in here. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, sure, I don't really have an attack, so even if somehow this holds off the attack for a little bit, um, then it doesn't... I don't know. I'm not seeing a way for this to continue breaking through here, uh, other than exchanging more pieces. But each exchange piece gives me some sort of attacking chance. So yeah, I'm unfortunately Necrotus, I'm just not following where this is. Yeah, it looks a bit challenging to uh checkmate here. Although maybe there's some really nice mate. If there is one, I'm sure it looks fantastic. I'm just having difficulty seeing it. Um uh, Yeah, this I don't know. I wonder, though, maybe there's some other other alternative here, too. Like, what if we just drop the knight here? This might have been simpler. Um, but maybe not. I guess the this drops back. Because if I take that... Um, drop in front and the dragon takes from the side. Yeah, um... 
Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll take a look at pawn takes, because that looks like the more critical variation here. Um... Uh, you don't have a bishop. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, and I act my silver. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I think probably, yeah, Rook takes, like Necrodes is pointing out, they didn't see the bishop line. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll have to study this a bit more. Damn, that was impressive. <laughs> oh, that was impressive. <laughs> yeah, cool. That was a nice game, a nice post-game analysis. Uh, cool. Yeah, awesome game. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, So, how do we conclude this? Um, so, um, yeah, our opponent played the dreaded Urashino attack, and I was ill prepared for it. I thought that somehow I would have to counterattack because every single time I've seen this opening defeated, it was not by defending, it was by counterattacking. So I was fixated on this idea that, you know, if I'm going to somehow defeat this thing, I'm going to be counterattacking it rather than trying to stave off the entire attack. Turns out in this one very specific line, there were some ways that um, I could have slowed their attack. But like Rook 5 4, that position where I just gave up my rook for a pawn, and thought I had a good attack and I didn't. Um, that was f not fatal, but I don't know. It, it really damages... Um, what's the word? It's a war of attrition, and you know if you're losing out of the opening, it damages morale. So if you want to win, uh, play good openings, play good middle games, play good end games, and the way to play good end games is to know what's checkmate and know what's not checkmate. And my opponent uh, hoped, and hoped correctly, um, that they would have checkmate after Rook takes Bishop, uh, or Rook takes Gold, rather. Rook takes Silver here. Um which this rook takes silver was possible after previous uh, sacrifices. So the opponent really has been practicing a lot of checkmates. Um, and they also knew like not to weave the king out here, although that's kind of common sense. But also, I don't think I checkmate even in that line. I'd be surprised. It's about a bit closer, but not really. Yeah, and then they knew to take this gold. If they just backed off, since they don't have a bishop, they can't pin the gold. And he pointed out correctly that the knight drop doesn't look so promising, and a spectator and I during the game were expecting, well, they're probably just going to sack something around here. Uh, but no, they did the unexpected to me move of uh, dragon takes gold, and this ends the game. So, no, it's a checkmate. And what's not a checkmate and practice those a lot and you'll get places studying openings will help a little bit too if you do both that's even better so yeah thanks for watching have a good day